I'm in my bedroom in my Jakarta home in case uh, nobody followed me I just have to explain again where I am and yes I've been absent for like what two months or even more than that because I just couldn't solve the problem of having a full storage on my iPhone which is old it's a it's a 5s uh, phone uh, but I can't allow myself to buy a new one as yet and but now I uh, have uh, transferred um, the contents of my laptop to a hard disk so I have space now on my laptop but I still can't film from my iPhone and also I used to have a Canon camera it's an old one but um, I left it in Milan I must have misplaced it somewhere or I must have packed it somewhere and put away and I don't remember where it is so uh, I don't have a camera at all and you know how camera costs today so anyway that's beside the point now I would like to say hello again to you back I'm so sorry that uh, you know some of you have already followed me and have already participated on my videos uh, giving such uh, lovely uh, interesting comments and uh, suddenly I disappeared and uh, my apology for that I hope you're all doing well and um, I don't know wherever you wherever you are now I hope you are just uh, happy in this summertime 2018 I'm in Jakarta I don't go on holiday I feel fortunate to be living in this kind of uh, villa uh, that I'm destined to 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 have or to live in so um, hey why do I have to go away from here where I can enjoy every little moment and every little corner of this property uh, in a very uh, beautiful wonderful uh, way so um, that's my bathroom over there and I have all the windows open so it's very bright but today it's not that sunny it's uh, it's cloudy it's uh, overcast and yet we are having a dry season now and uh, it rained last week but very very uh, briefly and uh, what shall I you know uh, say I you know I have this problem that I have so many ideas to share but until now I haven't found that real uh, niche to to really expand so I'm still all over the place what would you like to talk about do you want to talk about anything I I, 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 I can talk about that too so like Italy Italian or uh, beauty or uh, spirituality or fashion or even as a widow because I have been living as a widow now for four years I don't know whether people notice that that my video actually started my channel on YouTube started because I started to have plenty of time to dedicate and I chose to dedicate to my late husband and uh, that was I think uh, since 2017 even though I lost him in 2014 I did have one channel already with uh, quite many subscribers but I accidentally deleted it and I couldn't recover it back so I had to re uh, start again with new uh, subscribers and new videos as you can see the humidity here is high and I has I has I still have not just been able to adjust myself with the with the with the Asian climate yet I'm Asian but I have left Indonesia for so many many years 
that even when I was visiting here for one year in 2012, 2013, almost two years, and then 2015, one year, I still kept on having problems with the humidity up to today. Look at that. I still perspire easily. And that is the one thing that I uh, miss Italy for, for its climate. I love the climate and, the, of course, the, the freedom to walk on the street. Because in Milan, I can always just go downstairs and I find myself already in the middle of the, in the center of the city and I can walk about everywhere. However, you know, nothing is perfect in life. There is nothing that you can have perfectly. So there I don't have a big space. I have a small, tiny apartment with a small, tiny kitchen or a kitchenette. And there, of course, I don't have the help of the, 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 the cook or the housekeeper or the uh, gardener. Don't, don't get me wrong here, they are not as expensive as in the States or in uh, Europe. It is affordable, so don't let that uh, impress you too much that I mentioned I have this stuff within this premises of my house. But of course with the right price, I don't mind letting go this property because I think by myself it is a bit too 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 much to take care and um, I cannot go on living by myself here if I have to struggle uh, maintaining this uh, house I am having a beautiful time and if I could uh, if I could afford to keep it by all means, I would keep it for the rest of my life. But you know, in life, I don't plan. Whatever comes first that lightens up my heart, I take that as the right decision to take. For example, last year, even up to this month, I wasn't anticipating moving and packing my bag forever closing shop in Milan with my apartment in Milan and move back to Indonesia after so many years not living here and here I am living here and I've given up my apartment in Milan what do I miss I don't miss anything actually from my life in Milan because even though I did enjoy being solitary because I love being alone uh, after my husband's uh, demise I enjoyed for a while to be by myself but of, naturally I missed him the presence or the knowledge of him somewhere that was a big big chunk of my life that I missed, even though we separated very, very frequently due to his jobs. He was very nice because he, he always wanted me to join him and he allowed me to choose the country that I wanted to go with him. And there were countries that I didn't feel like joining him, he accepted, even though he continuously persuading me to come, for example, like India, Japan. I didn't come, I didn't join him. And uh, there was another country in Russia. I just went to visit him, but not staying with him there. So uh, it was nice, but we were so accustomed to being separated from each other. Also, because, you know, with the communication we have today, of course, the instant communication, that helped us not to feel too much of the separation between the two of us physically. So, um, yeah, after uh, his dem demise and I stayed in Milan for the first one year, two years, it was nice. 
but uh, from nine from 2016 onwards um, uh, I did try you know make an effort trying to just uh, go on with life but it wasn't to be it wasn't to be and um, somehow everything just fell into place where I could pack up my bag close the apartment for goods and left Italy to come and live here in Indonesia. Everything just fell into place. So that's how I live my life actually. Just following the path that the universe is showing me. Yes, I would try my best to do what I like to do. But if it cannot be done, I just accept it happily and follow that path where it leads me. And so far so good. And I'm happy here in Jakarta. I'm very happy in Jakarta. Uh, because it's so strange since I never planned. I never made any plan in my life. And the fact that I find myself here now living in Jakarta, it just sort of fits fits my 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 state of mind at this juncture of my life why because i am so happy having traveled all over the world when i say all over the world of course not the whole world but more or less i've traveled a lot and i've lived in so many countries thanks to my husband my late husband pietro and i've live a beautiful wonderful life don't again get me wrong thinking that it was perfect of course life there's in life we, there's no perfection so of course there were ups and downs you know him being italian me being indonesian and me having grown up you know as a kid in england so my mentality also is all a bit mixed up with indonesian which is asian English, which is British, and then Italian, having to handle him as a husband. And so oh, there were a lot, a lot of misunderstandings, a lot of also quarrels. Yes, why not? It's life, you know, because without that, I think life is too flat to just go on with somebody without having any disagreement also ever even a quarrel or fight why not because without that it's flat i remember i met a man a guy from australia once he was married he was a friend of a friend of mine actually he was an admirer not an australian admirer long long time ago and it was his cousin visiting him in jakarta here and this admirer of mine was a i think was a was a was a director of uh, insurance and uh, bank joined together company and his cousin uh, was telling me that uh, you know he's married yes he's married but he told me they get along so well that for him the marriage has become boring because there are no no fire you know there's no fire there's no you know a little bit of that you know anxieties once in a while and he told me that he was bored with his marriage and yet they didn't have problems so that's why you know you know I, i've been there i oh i've done that oh my god I, if i could write a book i write a book but i don't know how to start i don't know how to start so um but you know it's beautiful life is beautiful is is full of uh, full of adventures if you allow of course the path to lead you but there are friends or there are people who settles down with their childhood sweetheart and then live ha lives happily ever after too never travel living wonderfully with their children you know so to each his own let's put it that way to each his own so we cannot judge people for their choices or for their path in life we cannot judge that we just have to 
take care of ourselves and respect others. And that's my motto all the time. The only problem sometimes, you know, I, there is a, there is a trait in me that I, I allow friends or anybody to have a center stage. That's right, center stage when we are together, you know. And um, when they get accustomed to me giving that, giving them that, even though there are things that they say that's wrong and I just, you know, I'm not being argumentative about it, until one day I decided, so it could be my fault because I should have stopped them right there and then, I would tell them, you know, what is wrong, or they, then they would raise hell because they are shocked that I would have an opinion. When with them, I'm not opinionated. So could be my mistake because I should have been more expressive and more opinionated from the beginning, but I don't. And then when I express my opinion, then they get all berserk and so shocked about me. So that's one problem that I have sometimes with people. Um, maybe I should be more, I don't know how to say, because I, 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 I love, you know, I love a situation when it's smooth. There's nobody trying to protest or trying to go against or trying to show their ego. I like everybody just get along. So I would be just, you know, agreeable. But sometimes it's wrong to be agreeable. agreeable. I think when you find something that is not to your liking, I think you should express that. I don't know whether it's a good idea or not. So um, that's a dilemma that I'm still trying to sort out. Uh, so anyway, for now, this is my talk. This is my first time using my laptop camera or video to vlog. That's why I don't move around. Uh, I think once in a while it's nice, right? Just to stay stationary and have a lovely, you know, reflection, you know, sharing with you by talking. And uh, okay, let's hope that this will work. And if it works, then I will continue for the time being to uh, make a vlog with my camera on my laptop until one day I'll have my, a new iPhone or a new camera. Who knows? So um, hope everyone is having a nice, lovely, wonderful summer because we are still in the middle of summer. And uh, uh, thank you again for your uh, uh, thumb up or for your subscription. To my channel and for those who are new and like what uh, you know I'm I, I, I am sharing with you please um, give a thumb up or a, a subscribe uh, I I am recording how it is there is no aesthetic Photoshop or anything to beautify my vlog it comes as it comes all right. Thank you so much. Bye.